Trier is considered the oldest city in Germany. Founded in 18 BC under the Roman Emperor Augustus, it is protected by a city wall with five gates. The city has lived through five emperors and, under Constantine the Great, became the center for the spread of Christianity north of the Alps. Its location in the Mosul Valley was also an advantage. An important part of Roman life was a visit to the baths, and this is how Trier came to have small private baths as well as larger public ones, like the Forum Baths and the Barbara Baths. And the Imperial Baths that were a part of the medieval city walls. The monumental remains of the main bathing hall here reveal how huge these baths were. The Roman arena was planned as part of the city wall when it was built and could also be used as a city gate. Here, cruel battles between wild animals and gladiators took place as a form of entertainment. Beneath the arena is a large cellar where those sentenced to death were imprisoned alongside wild lions and tigers. Having been destroyed by the Franks, the city grew when Baldwin of Luxembourg became Archbishop and Elector in 1248, and the Electoral Palace, including the magnificent garden, was extended. In the 18th century, outstanding artists and architects were commissioned to furnish the palace in the style of the late Baroque and Rococo. This splendor survived the French conquest. Close by, this 4th century brick building served as the throne room for the Roman Emperor and his governors. In the 19th century, the rear part of the Archbishop's Palace was used as a barracks, then later demolished and only the Red Tower and the so-called Petrus Tower were preserved. A stroll through the old town towards the main market leads past the magnificent houses of the nobles and superiors of the church to the cathedral square. In the past, only the upper class citizens were allowed here. In 1227, the early Gothic Liebfrauenkirche was built to replace parts of the St. Peter Church. The western portal was adorned with stone reliefs, iconographic symbols and stone statues of saints. The ground plan was laid out in the shape of a Greek cross and several of the Gothic pillar bundles stand on Roman column foundations. The eight niches were adorned with paintings and stone reliefs, and the apostolic creeds are painted on the pillars. The Domplatz, where we find the cathedral, is framed by the magnificent buildings of high priests, where today the cathedral museum is housed.
The mighty Romanesque sacral building of St. Peter forms the western part of the twin church, a basilica longitudinal construction from the Middle Ages. The stone pulpit and the All Saints altar are by Hans Ruprecht Hoffmann, and the cathedral still contains a Roman core with original walls up to 25 meters high. The complete cathedral represents a period of art and architecture spanning more than 1,650 years. A short lane leads from the Domplatz directly to the main market, the lively centre of the old town. Often referred to as the most beautiful place in Germany, the market cross of Archbishop Heinrich forms the center as a symbol of the medieval origins of the market. Well-preserved townhouses still frame the market square today, even though some have been adapted to the times. The house fronts those of former times of economic prosperity. And the market fountain of 1595 shows St. Peter, the patron saint of the cathedral and the city, with the four virtues, justice, strength, moderation and wisdom. And the Lion Pharmacy stands proudly as one of the oldest houses. The Franken Tower from the 1100s is the oldest residential tower that could once only be accessed via a ladder or wooden staircase. The late Gothic town church, St. Gangolf, founded after 970, is wedged between the houses and has been redesigned several times. Still striking today are the Red House next to the Steep, the city's ceremonial house, and the Dragunican House, which was built in 1230, when the city wall was still unfinished. Every house was obliged to defend itself. The dark Roman city gate from the second century only became known as the Porta Nigra in the Middle Ages the Black Gate. The gate of the mightiest ancient Roman architectural style is huge, 36 meters long, 21 meters wide and 30 meters high. The two monumental stone gate towers were connected at several levels by corridors. In the 11th century, the gate building was converted into a collegiate church. And in 1973, this and other Roman buildings became a world cultural heritage site. <laughs>